We are joined by head coach David Prophet. Uh, great win today. Uh, come back from behind. Coach, tell me about that game and what was your message to the team being down uh, two sets down to uh, San Santa Barbara? There was uh, there was moments of you know like are we gonna are we gonna catch fire here? Are we gonna warm up? Are we gonna get into a rhythm? Um, you know we've we've battled all year through first set losses and and been able to, to catch back up. And I knew we would I knew we'd figure it out eventually. Didn't get it in the second set, mm -hmm. but then we started warming up in the third. I thought okay possibility we could reverse sweep here against a very tough Santa Barbara team who um, gave us everything we can handle. Yeah, it was definitely a game of momentum, especially that first that first and second set. Momentum was entirely on their side. Yes. But uh, after that second set, um, after that timeout that you called, what was your message to them to keep their head in the game? You know, I really wanted us to just to have a rhythm. You know, like, hey, if we miss a, if we lose a point or if there's a, a questionable call or mm -hmm. something we don't agree with or there's, you know, infighting on who's going to play our ball. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You just quickly scrap that and move on. Uh, and, and just get into our rhythm. Get into our huddle. Get out of our huddle. Find the server. And, you know, I, I'm confident in our ability and our skill level. It's just a matter of controlling those emotions. And, and, and I think when we have a pattern of getting into a huddle and breaking out, it, that pattern works into success eventually if you just keep it up. Yeah, heading into that third fourth and then eventually the fifth set you can definitely tell that there was a different attitude almost with every player on the team heading into that fifth set what do you think was the biggest change that happened in the entire game well we're a fifth set team mm -hmm. we we've only lost one fifth set this year we've played quite a few of them and the one we lost was to an extremely good team OCC um, and so I think the message I gave them after set four was we're we win set we win fifth sets we mm -hmm. win the deciding set mm -hmm. we're that team that's our identity we want to have that identity um, and so I think it just kind of instilled some confidence sure. going into that set. Yeah, sure. you can definitely tell. Even though we went down right yep. away in, in, in the beginning of the of the fifth set, um, we caught fire and, and were able to to get, to get a few point lead and um, and close it out. Do we know who we're up playing against up next set? Do not know. I, I know I'm, my my phone is ringing right now, <laughs> so I'm sure there's people trying to, to let me know who we're playing. But I just haven't had a second to to see. Hey, what do you think about this crowd that was down here tonight? Amazing. How amazing were they? To be in our gym, we've only played five matches here this year because of the gym installation, uh, the the bleacher installation, which I think is hopefully hardened this up for what's coming on the road here, going sure. to El Camino next Thursday. Um, but I mean, what an atmosphere to have this many fans in in our stands, and just the sound coming from the stands was was really good, and I, that may even have played a part sure. in the, the nerves early in the match. I think for some of the guys. Um, but I think that stuff just kind of fell away uh, once we got going and, and that sound. It is it is helpful to have that noise, I think, sometimes, but it could be nerve-wracking in the beginning of a match. Absolutely. I think that the players definitely played into it because they were definitely getting the crowd pumped up. Well, Coach, congratulations on a great job. Uh, let's, what's your message for the entire Olympia Nation? Well, we're just we're excited for, for Mesa. I mean, it, it's about our athletic program from top to bottom, from, from our athletic director, Ryan, to our um, AADs, our assistant athletic directors, to our counselors and, and the trainers and, and all the staff, the equipment people, our assistant coaches. Everybody does their part to make this program and every single program here in our athletic department successful. And I just, I just love the positive energy, and we've really worked on that as a department and an athletic department, that is, and I think that if we stay positive, we root for each other, it's just going to continue to make this environment better here on campus. I can't wait to see what happens this rest of this year and next year and the following year. It's really exciting. Great job, Coach. Thank you.